So um, let's just start by. Uh, I like to do. I like to do mentalism, like prediction tricks. So let's just start with something easy. Um, this is a mixed up deck of cards. Everybody can see it. Um, I'll give them a shuffle real quick. Um, I'll give you a shuffle. Anyway. But uh, I'll let you um, cut it. Why don't you just cut half the deck over here, or wherever you like, and I'll mark it right here. We'll come back to that in just a minute. All right. Now, I made a little grid here. Did everyone see it? Yep. All right. Now, I'm going to give you every choice here. What I want you to do is I'm going to narrow this down to four numbers. You ever play Sudoku? No? Okay, well, this is one of, you got to choose. Pick whichever one you like first, because we're going to come up with a random number, two. And what you can see with you is you can't have that number in any other row or column. So go ahead and pick another one that's not that's crossed out, okay? And you cross out those. And that. Okay, go ahead and pick. Well, that's rid of those and that. And, well, there's no real big choice here. you got 13 left over. Okay, so we got 12 and 13. That's 25. That's 7, that's 32, plus 2, 34. So 34 is our number, okay? All right. We should be able to remember that. I don't know if I can it. Okay, so now we've got a card selected, a number, and now um, I'm going to give you a choice of three different colors. Let's say red, blue, and yellow. Red? Red? Back here in my wallet, I have an envelope. I want to give that to you. Okay. All right. And go ahead and take what's in it out and read what you have. Read it loud for everybody. Uh oh. <laughs> it said you will choose the red envelope, but then again, isn't it obvious it came out of a red envelope? <laughs> Who's to say there aren't two more envelopes just like this one with notes inside that say you will choose the yellow or blue envelope? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe a good trick, maybe not. But I did have two other envelopes in here. Open those other ones real quick for me. Tell me what's inside them. Blank paper. <laughs> Blank paper. Okay. Blank you. That's the first phase. What is it? Blank, blank paper. <clears throat> now, you still got the note? Yeah. Or did you put it back inside? Okay, now open it up like a book and read what's inside next. Oh, you put your, took your glasses off already. The number selected will be 34. Wow. <laughs> now, there was only three envelopes to choose from, so there was a one in three chance. The numbers here could have ranged from 10 up to, I think it was 48 or 58. So there was a 48 possibility. So maybe, let's just say 50 to make it easy. Now, that's, I can't even figure out the math there, but that's a lot of possibilities. But now we have 52 cards in the deck and she cut to which card? Go ahead and take a look. Eight of cards, okay. Now, there's, 50, let's say roughly 50 cards. 50 times 50, that's 2,500 times three. 7,500 possibilities. Go ahead and read the last part of the. Oh, you keep sticking it back in the envelope. <laughs> Next time I do it, I'll remember to tell someone not to put it back in the envelope. So open it up one more time. The card selected will be the eight of hearts. Oh, wow. 